Hey, hey, everybody. It's um, Amber and Amber. And it's another episode of Mommy and Me Time. Who's excited? I happen to like mm -hmm. Thursdays. Do you like Thursdays? Yes. Avery likes Thursdays. What are we going to talk about today, Avery? Mm -hmm. What's over here? Um, what color are they? Black. Black. Why do you think they're black? <gasps> that is a very astute observation, Miss Avery. They are black because they have charcoal. Avery's got to look. Charcoal actually cleans and detoxes the body and the skin. It's antibacterial, antifungal, all the good stuff. I didn't know that. It pulls all that bad gunk where you don't want it to be on your body, your face. Your feet everywhere. So we're gonna talk about those. Does it sound fun? Okay. We're gonna start with cackle spackle, and we're gonna do a mommy and me detox detox mask. So this has the car charcoal, and it's minty, so it's going to tingle. Can you look at me? There we go. It's gonna tingle just a little. It feels minty and fresh. And it's not. Minty and fresh. And this it's one like works. Gum. It smells it's like mint nice. bubblegum. Mint. Yep. Uh, this one works really great on your T zone. And I'm going to demonstrate T zones on Avery. <laughs> Looks kind of more like a plus sign to me, so I'm not 100% sure why it's called a T zone. But, T zone. Your oily spots across the bridge of your nose and down and across into like your chin. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna football stripe it up here. Where are you going to football game? Mm -hmm. And we're gonna get my chin because my chin gets really bad. Did you know with masks you don't have to put them on your whole face for them to be effective? No. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. If you have a really dry chin. You can put a moisture mask on the bottom. Or if you have really dry cheeks, you can put a moisture mask there and put cackle spackle or an off mask wherever you're really oily and good. Can you grab me one of those towels back there up on the top shelf? So, cackle spackle. It's so much fun. And it does tingle. This is probably one of our stronger masks. So if the tingle is too much, you does, just tell me. Does it help, like, like bumps on your face? Yeah. Like your cheeks? It, I have two of them. Right it's there. going to help draw out those blemishes. That's what charcoal does, is it draws gunk out of your pores. I do. It actually cleans. I did I knew that charcoal was in the bath, but I didn't know it did that. Oh. So with Cackle Spackle, with it being one of our stronger masks, I recommend you try it first on your inner um, wrist or the inner part of your elbow. So you can tell if you're a sensitive, it is tingly. Um, and I would do it for a smaller amount of time and then work your way up to the 10 minutes. Another one that is really awesome, if you like to exfoliate, is Whole Lava Love. And whole lot of love has volcanic ash into the charcoal powder. So not only does it clean with the charcoal powder, it exfoliates and takes that extra layer off, leaving you very soft, smooth skin. So oh, I'm gonna I let you I'm let you feel this and rub it around between your fingers like this. It feels like sand. It feels like sand. That's volcanic ash in there. So and it kind of feels smooth. It's smooth and rough together, so it's not too rough and not too smooth. So it's going to leave your skin feeling nice and soft and very, very clean. All right. Does it work where you said it's here too? Yep. With any products, you're not 100% sure if you're going to break out or have problems. Just try them on your inner wrist. That way, if you have a reaction, you're going to know it right there because this is where your skin's the thinnest. So it's going to have a reaction there instead of on your face. Which is a good thing. What's this, Avery? Uh, gender bender junk bar. Gender bender junk bar. Gender bender is good for everything. It cleans everything. It took permanent marker off of Maddie's hands. 
you can scrub stains with this carpet clothes furniture I've taken stains off of my uh, chairs with this uh, what else is it good for it cleans makeup brushes <gasps> you just run it under the water and and run rub your brush around in a circle okay maybe we'll have to try that sometime clean Avery's makeup brushes um, I'm not drawing a blank. You can wash your pets with this. Oh, you can wash any. You can scrub just about anything that needs to be super clean. I totally recommend this guy for any of your teenagers because it's great on smells and great on acne. This can be used on your body and your face. Um, great for husbands who are busy, busy workers and get grainy, greasy, yeah, um, sweaty hands, uh, mechanics, all those things. This is really going to break that grease and that grind. And what does it smell like? Um, does it smell like a man or a woman? Um, it kind of smells like ginger. It's kind of more of a manly scent. I don't even remember off the top of my head what it says it smells like. Palm oils and shea butters combined with charcoal. Woodsy, amber, and soft citrus. So this is technically a gender neutral bar, but I like that. I like that. It's my, it I does like have it. that woodsy edge so that men will actually use it and feel like I'm just using a regular chunk of soap. Plus it's black, so it's not girly, it's not overly crazy. And then teenager, like teenagers and stuff, yeah, they're going to know that this is going to work because it has the charcoal and it's awesome. So one last thing I am going to show you, and it's going to weird you out, is I talked a lot about the stripper. The stripper. What do we do with the stripper? Well, you put it, like, you could put it on your back. Why would I put it on my neck? Like, for, I don't remember. You don't remember. This guy is good on acne, blemishes, breakouts, um, bug bites. He, I've put this on wasp bites before with Weston. with Weston and myself, and it takes the swelling and the sting and the redness out, and honestly, it just left me with a little, like a stinger mark. This can, is good for your feet, your husband's feet, your tinky, stinky teenager's feet um, on the bottoms of their feet. Yep. It will soften calluses. It removes odors. All of those things. No more stinky feet. Now, if you're feeling sick and you're feeling ucky and you have that nasty drainage and cold, has your grandmother ever told you that you need to put something on the bottom of your feet and put socks on? Yeah. Like mentholated vapor rub or like essential like oil stuff. Or essential oils because that's where your pores are the biggest. Put the stripper on your feet next time you're sick. And let the stripper go to work with drawing out all those germs and all that gunk. Hi, we have a comment. Yay! Hi, guys. Um, let it go to work, drawing out all of that junk out of your system. And I, I'm pretty sure you're going to feel better. Um, you might have to do it once a day. You can do it twice a day, whatever you want to do. And just let it draw all that gunk out and just sit back, relax, drink your water, feel better. Okay, that's the stripper, but I'm going to show you a handy dandy trick. You want to see my trick? Yeah. Does anybody ever have problems with their deodorant not working? I'm going to call it. I turned 30 and somehow my deodorant quit working. Stupid, right? I am going to show you an awesome use of the stripper. Grab some stripper. And you're going to put it on your underarms. That's cool. Yeah. Does it take the smell away? It does. Oh Avery caught it. Avery caught it. It takes the smell off of your feet. So why wouldn't it work under your arms? Right? Yes. The reason it's your deodorant awesome. is not working is because all of those pores are full of gunk. They're full of yuck. That deodorant doesn't get all the way washed off and it gets stuck in your pores and it doesn't allow the next layer of deodorant to work. So what do you get? You keep getting stinky and sweating and you just smell yourself and you're like, why is this not working? It's not working because it can't get in there to stop the odor. 
So you use some stripper. And it honestly will sit here and start to almost like look like it pokes out further on the pores. Like I don't squeeze stuff out of it, but it'll start to like rise just yeah. a little off the pores. Yeah, because it's going to start pulling gunk and stuff out of there. Does it hurt? No. Nope. Doesn't hurt at all. Posh doesn't hurt. Posh does not hurt. And so this is a natural way of detoxing your armpits. Okay, I don't think I could go to this extreme, but I do know there are people out there that only stripper their armpits and don't use deodorant. Do you do it more? No, I use deodorant, but I needed to stripper my armpits because they're getting bad again. But they just stripper a couple times a week and they don't need deodorant. Mind blown. Mind blown. <laughs> All right, Avery, do you got any more comments about all of our charcoal products? The stripper smells really good. It looks like mud. It does. It looks like mud. What does it smell like? Like ginger. You say everything smells like ginger. It does. Let's see what it smells like. To me, it just smells clean. It does. What? To me, it just smells clean. All right, everybody, have a good night, and we'll see you next Thursday.